criticized and right. um, got it. And, and so it's like, well, all right, you know, like that's no problem. If they don't want criticism, then I'm not going to be the one to give it to them. But if they're open to being told my opinions, um, then yeah, I mean, it's, it can be hard. It's, it's a very difficult thing to, to, um, to take somebody right. else's. Opinions. I mean, yeah, I mean, it, it is a difficult thing. And in the comic book medium in particular, I mean, you know, like I've tried to write for comics and things like that. And, you know, a big part of the the draw to write comics, right, is like it's really, you know, your name is kind of on the marquee, you know, like you're yeah, you're up there, you know, it's just like it's a very it's a really real declaration creatively of like I did this, you know, yeah, and, and like, it's vulnerable. Um yeah, and it's hard to get over that fear of criticism or or taking it personally, where you feel like, oh, I'm being criticized. That's criticizing me and my identity. Uh, yeah, uh, Matt Diffie did that for me when I first started trying to get in the New Yorker. He gave me criticisms, and I had to make a decision: do I do I take these to heart and try to improve myself, or do I feel like he's full of crap and and just ignore what he's and i and yeah. i chose to um to to rebuild because at that point i had already done stuff for the onion and oh, all you, the indie comics I, and stuff I heard, you know what you might have mentioned that to me that you worked <laughs> for the onion and uh i can't believe i oh my gosh that's a great one all right i should probably uh do an intro for our listeners sounds good you're listening to the Lemon Drop Sessions, a podcast about food and music. I am the unreluctant host, Will PB. I'm here with Shannon Wheeler. Uh, you know, in music, everybody is all about um, independent productions these days, right? It's all about uh, how much money you can make if you go independent in the music field. And in the world of comic books, uh, the independent field is a very attractive idea to a lot of up and coming comic book creators and writers and artists. And I can say pretty definitively that Shannon Wheeler is one of the best stories in American independent comic books. I mean, you really must be one of the best stories that is out there in American <laughs> independent comic books in history. So I am really pleased to have Shannon Wheeler on. Uh, so Shannon has his own original character, Too Much Coffee Man. Uh, I believe I did actually research this. The first issue came out in 1994, right? Um, yes and no. I, I did okay. many comics and I think I started Too Much Coffee Man maybe in 91 or I think 91 was the first mini comic I put out. But yeah, the first comic book I think was wow. either 93 or 94. Probably I, I went to San Diego and I was like, oh, I, I need to have a comic book out by next year. And so um, wow, I had mini comics and then and then just you did have a comic one. book out by next year. And, and you met that goal. Just yeah. Right. Yeah. It, it was interesting because I, you know, I'd, I'd solicited I, I'd drawn drawn some of it and i i had written the script and then i went to san francisco um to see some show or something and somebody broke into the car and stole wow of my backpack that had everything so then i had this very tight deadline of having to rewrite it and redraw wow. it um i don't know why i had it all in my backpack probably because i i thought i was on deadline and i needed to work on it <laughs> at all times yeah uh, but then rewriting it, I think I, I yeah. streamlined it and it made it better. So, you know, yeah, I have to agree. I mean, you know, so I have I, I've written a few comic book scripts. I haven't published anything, but I did notice a trend of, you know, the second draft is actually kind of better in terms of a comic book script. <laughs> you know, it's just. <laughs> And if you don't have the first one to refer to, then you have to do everything by memory and you naturally lose a lot of the 
kind of weird self-indulgent things that you'd put in the first draft. Right. Right. Uh, so I just want to uh, drop this in real quick. Uh, I got the chance to talk to Shannon once before in 2021 um, sort of had to scrap the episode due to technical difficulties. And I was able to reach back out to Shannon and, uh, you know, he knew me from before. I'm, you know, I'm very pleased to say, and, uh, and he came back for another, another talk. Uh, I'm always so a pleasure. No, I love it. Thank you, man. I mean, yeah, me too. Definitely. So, um, so I don't quite know where to start. Uh, Shannon Wheeler, his original character, Too Much <laughs> Coffee Man. Uh, what I was trying to say is uh, this character, uh, an original character, Too Much Coffee Man, has been around for uh, almost 30 years, basically. It has been around for 30 years. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah, it's amazing. It's uh, totally, I mean, it's inspiring. It's interesting. And it's a piece of history that frankly i don't think people really know enough about yeah you know you're a well, big thank you. <laughs> you're a comic book guy man you're really up there and so uh yeah um so we had to come up with sort of a music segment for this episode and shannon wheeler agreed to humor me in the best possible way i asked him if he would make a conceptual soundtrack <laughs> to a film version of the fantastic four right uh i can't believe we're gonna do this i'm so excited so shannon agreed he said sounds good i will uh i'll start coming up with the uh fantastic four soundtrack you know for a hypothetical fantastic four movie and um sort of the impetus for that i guess was in our first conversation uh, we got to talk about Fantastic Four, about what we would do with these characters in the comic book medium and so on and so forth. And, you know, in the back of my mind, really, I'm like, this is the best. I mean, you know, I'm talking to another <laughs> comic book creator about what we would do with the Fantastic Four. Um, that was such a fun conversation for me. I mean, it was it was the best. And, um, and actually... The reason I, oh, shoot. All right. I got everything fuddled up. But but basically, in uh, soon, very soon, we will get into Shannon Wheeler's uh, Fantastic Four soundtrack. And uh, I'm very pleased to present that uh, on this episode of the Lemon Drop Sessions. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, thanks, for, uh, thanks for hanging out with me on that, Shannon. Um, so there's so much else we can talk about i mean your contributions to the new yorker alone uh you know you had a magazine that you did with marvel comics uh, i'm correct right uh it, yeah no i mean I, I did a magazine i i did 10 issues of of too much coffee man and then was trying to i tried was trying to figure out how to open it up into newsstand and i thought kind of a win-win would be to turn it into a magazine and then include ads because that would subsidize it and then have a new um, distribution into it. It didn't really, it sort of worked um, mm -hmm. creatively. I loved it because I, it also took it from being a solo adventure of just me doing a comic to all of a sudden pulling in friends and having weird, stupid ideas and right. Um, yeah, just getting to work with people is is really a pleasure. It is definitely, um, yeah, forming a team for a brand new project. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, and then you can pull in like, oh, here's some cool uh, comics, and here's somebody that I really 